Yes, yes, Kaushik, it started. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, last day we uh, just. Uh, Means I have some problem in my system, so that's why the demo and the session was not long continue. So I'll start with the that that type that 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 topic. Okay. So first topic is that how to install React JS that with the npm and in it. Normal we have going to install the npm and in it and trying to install React in our system. I will share my screen. My screen is visible, right? Yes. Yeah. So this is my folder, empty folder. I'll go make the CMD. And here I will create npm init. That means it will create some default package.json file for me. Okay, this is the folder name means in which folder currently I have. So this is npm init, so package name. Any name I can add it. React demo. Person, it's optional. You can add or not. Description that is also optional. Entry point. So entry point means when the page is loading, the React JS application is loaded. That time it's a bootstrapping the application. So in which file is required? This is the entry point JS. Okay, when any uh, the project is loaded in the browser DOM from that system, so one entry JS is required. So in my case, I add in index.js test command git repository. That is also optional. You can add or you cannot. That up to you. Keywords you can add any keyword. React, React strap, anything. Author, it's also optional. Optional. So this type of package.json file will be created. This is a schema. It will show. So is it okay? I have to make confirm. So yes. You can see one package.json file is created. Now what I will do? I will enter into the Visual Studio code base. I hope it's installed with each and every one system. Only package the JSON file is there. So I am not going to follow any that npm create react app, whatever. I am just going to install manually and see how it works. So we require two things that is one our uh, public folder. Here HTML. That is called your index.html file will be located. Relocated. The other folder is src. In src folder, I will add that this file. Js.js app.js anything okay so this i have to create that is public another is src not inside the src and in public that is the root folder so i will create src Created inside that. Two folder I have added. Now I'm going to add one folder that is index.js. But before that, I have to understand the package.json file. So this is this looks like whatever the entry I have made, the name, version, description, that is there. So this is main file, index.js, right? Now I have to install some React dependencies. By default, I am going to install. That is not I write the npm create React app and it's automatically installed. I will install by myself. That is
dependency. The dependency, I will write React. Three version, three uh, essential version is required that is React, React DOM, and React Script. So one by one, I will add 16.9.0. React DOM is equal 16.9.2, and I will add React script. React script that is 3.1.3. So, without this dependency, I cannot run. I have the package.json file and I also have that index.js file. But where to run, how to run, which command I will add, right? So first I have to going to install the React dependencies. What I will do? I will go here. In my root folder. That is the root. I will do one thing. npm i or npm install. So that's it. Either npm install or npm i. So I will get the npm i command. It takes some time and it will install the dependencies, mainly depend on React, React script and React DOM. Three dependencies it will install. You can see that node modules, this folder is automatically created, right? Node modules, and it's also the staging. Staging means if you go inside the node modules, so it's fetched from the node re npm registry. And when all files and the dependency will be fetched, and then it will dump over here inside the local system. So it takes some time. Yes. So 
the installation is done for the React, React DOM, and React script. These packages are added. Now you are going to node modules. So you can see that all the packages required related to the React, React stuff, and React DOM that all are installed. Now I'm creating one index.js file and one index.html file and going to run the application. And also I have added some script. In the script folder, I have added some script. This script I will add for a minute. That is your start. Yeah. Now I am in the index.js file. This empty file I will add one by one. First I will add import. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or In the from React DOM, both are different packages. React installed through the React and React DOM, and render will require the render term to a different package. Now I'll create render. And I will create one function that is a yeah, function and return with comma no, comment. Uh, yes. yes. So can yes. you can you use uh, require here uh, require of React like that? No, so this is the EL6 command, right? Okay. And, uh, that's okay. why the modern syntax is that. We follow the EL6 syntax, okay? Okay. Require okay. is something different that is followed by the EL, ES5, okay? Okay. Okay. So that's why I'm using. So document.element ID, I have to provide the ID. So where I will get the ID? So that's why I'm creating one HTML file. Index.html. In this dot HTML file, I'll create and here doc type HTML that is HTML yes. and head and body. The body I will add the D D I D. Whatever name I will add here, like I have added copy. This name should be added here is the link. Enter application, whatever I will render that will fetch by this ID. So it will add it in that process in the ID. Any name you can add it. Now I'll go to run the code. Command, what will be the command? npm run start because i am adding the start command here so and one thing that instead of index.js can any file name i can add like process.js what i will add it to this yeah npm run start npm clear clear the screen you can see React script start. It will fetch from a React script start.
So could not find required file. That means the file name should be index.js. I cannot add other file. Index.js. Can I create other HTML file like config? Oh, it also record index.html so both index.html index.html okay i'll write something here so it will overwrite yeah. sorry i'm going to start Yes, at the browser. So I some po uh, already put it block documents consumed by other um, the port number file to the other port. Automatically, it will relocate the server and resolver one starting. Yeah, take some time rendering the files, rendering the application and. See what will get. Oh, great. Hello. So you can see one thing. Something is coming and then hello, right? That means it will overwrite whatever I will add in inside the config. So I will cut it and paste. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Here you can add it. Radically compile successfully and it will add. That is, I manually I will create the ReactJS application. This is a brand new ReactJS application I created. And one more thing that is also command comments. We have sometimes we have doubt what which command I will run. So this start command we will also change. Right, Kofi. I can also change it. And also terminate the best job. So yes. Now in PM run cozy. I will spelling K-A-U-S-H-I-K-K-A-U-S-H-I-K, yes. It will create the application, run the application and compile, and then it will serve the application in the browser. So it's coming from the function hello to my lab. Now you can multiple function you can create function at one return on at one Instead the return I have to add one. So what JC expression must be on parent element, which should write require one wrapper. This wrapper I will add, this wrapper I will add, from a pattern to move here. I start and fix. Any questions? No. Okay. So that is the one way that manually, how can I install? And up and running our ReactJS application. Other thing is that three comments are there. That is your npm install. E add app. This is script. 
You can use the create reactor to wrap name. And then and then start. This command you I am not going to uh, run this command in my system because it takes lots of time. I have other demo, so that's why right. you can try by yourself this command. Okay. Is that uh, if you feel any problem, you can reach out to me. I think no problem will be created, but if we'll add this command, it will take so many time in my system. So what is the advantage of adding it globally, create reactor? Globally means it will, whatever the dependency is required, right? Create react app, that I am not going to change anything. That is the mention from that react application, okay? So globally, it will fake the dependency, the necessary files and folders for the software registry, okay, NPM, and it will install. And if you not add this thing, it will add locally. And that means if you add Node.js, right? So Node.js requires some local path, env, environment file. So inside that, your app will be created. The files and folders, that reflection will be created over there. But if you will add minus g, so it will add global. Okay. If we run this command, we are inside the virtual environment, what will happen? Actual environment currently I'm not running, but I hope that if your internet connectivity and the app is running, so it will work. Not because it's global, you know? If your NPM will work, your this command will also be work. Have you tried NPM command virtually? Yes, I tried last day. When there is an error. I said uh, already. Okay, so I told you, right? So to connect up to the session. Yes. So sir. today also the same thing. You will connect with me after the session. I will yes, help sir. you. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. If we add uh, my, this G flag here, so it, it will install all the node modules globally. Yes, yes. Means whatever the required for the create react app, these things. Okay. So globally, it will, globally means the dependencies, na? that will not install your system. So node modules will be created, your dependencies in the globally, but your application will be running from the globe. Means I am not going to store the node modules over here, right? And the node module is stored in my system because I have add npm install. Okay. This will be fresh from your globally system. And you add the create reactor and your app name. Hmm. You will Tried this thing. I hope it, it will work. Not an issue. Now I'm going to my that is something is that sandbox. It's the fun. Yeah, and then on thing from um, so function uh, um, to the
So I uh, first of thing that is that this demo of that observation part, right? So I will create one thing instead of export. I will create the uh, you can see that YOLO error. That's, it's not error, it's a warning. So that means app is declared, but its name value never used. So the app is already created, but I am not assigning the app the value. Okay. If I will create same thing like app, we can see that is that app is declared, never used, but already declared. So same name, I cannot create the same app. So if I will add app one, so in the app one, it's created. Now we'll return div d1. And one more thing that export function plus export app plus function app is equal to your entire app that will create. So I can create multiple function over here and I can also create multiple export, but in one module, only one default export is allowed. That means what? I'll create function app2. Return is hello. Can write export app one. So I cannot export multiple things over here. So I have to do one thing that is app comma app one. Okay. Now I will add something here. So two function I have added and I exported over here. Also, if I will add app one it's not a, a, any error but i have to just add this thing at one so you can see these two values are coming but i am not export default i can pass multiple apps over here Also, I, if I will add comma app two, now my question is that uh, can I add class function, class uh, class component, functional component both together? So class app one class I'll create extends dot component extend react dot component means this class I am going to allow all features and functionalities that is 
coming from the react core module so in my class map that will also add it so extend means i will add, uh, from the react dot component each and every functionality and facility i will add it in my class so render the render method return Yes. Now, if I will call this thing, yeah. what happened? There, it needs some wrapper or inside the return I have to add. But it return And then JS expression. What is the error? JS X expression must be one parent element. That means I have to wrap both element together. Right, div. Or also the fragment. Or you can also do that. Also, you can react dot fragment. Okay. Now, I have to export one default function instead of app. What I will do? Export default app. So, here, when I have added one export default, that means This application, one module, if I will trying to add more than one export default, it will not allow. You can see only one default export allowed per module. We cannot add multiple export default, only one export default per module. But export function, I can add many. That's not an issue. This app, I will add it. And this is my default function. Other, this is the normal uh, function that I've exported from that app.js. Okay. Same thing if I am going to pass something from that as a props, my props. Oh, oh. Then I will add this dot props dot This is some basic things in the React. It is an and whenever we create the application in the functional or So multiple function we can export multi but only one default module. Any questions? Yeah, one thing you are passing the props as my props. Yes. Uh, but you are referencing that props here as this dot props dot hello, right? Uh, yes. So, because uh, this is my map map class, right? In the right. map class, I will add my props. This so, the, 
okay so in the reference oh, function sorry, no. oh, this name this name yeah name, yeah that is what i was asking sorry, okay, okay. my name this is the my name in yeah, props yeah, yeah. actually the props name got it, got it got it got it got it so class based that's why this property is required because this is owner of the class object right? right props cannot be means it's a local scope this cannot be it means it cannot be recognized by other classes it only referred to the this class this module okay that's why i have used this in the functional component if i will send one props that might be your app to app one right i will create uh, this thing if i will add app one right this is my app one in the app one I will create one props that is hello and here app one I will do props dot OC okay you have to accept the props right the function prop is not defined that because i have to add the, oh, yeah. the props here otherwise you can do one thing you can destructure your object that means these things oc and also pass it same hello will be rendered okay you can see the hello or you can see right this value will be passed so this is some basic functional components and the class both can work together not an issue but remember one thing when you pass that only one module means any default uh, app that time only export one application okay one function or class that might not be the more than one but as a application wise you can export or function you can multiple function you can export but default app should be one okay Now, yesterday's demo, what I will create on demo. Okay. First, going to the index.js file, and first, I will create that is my JSON file. So, the file I will create. Extension, extension, and again, text that is and by any that to one. Adopt it also here, and that is three and name and app. This is my JSON file. I'll go in this dot this way. Function. Uh, Done something first. I have to check the application, the function is working or not. Let's take div uh, div no, yeah, yeah. This app is already declared. That means we have to. The link was there. The link I have break it from the app. Okay, I have create my app in the index.js file. My function app is not defined. That means it is not recognized because I have already removed the link app. And then now this text is coming from here. 
okay now what i will do i will pass one props that is my message 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 is equal to first i have to input the data i will input my data import input my data that is shikar as data from where i will import dot this value i will copy under here data i will add so data dot message that is my message if i will add now i pass it as my props props and now console dot log what props is there i on props for props Come back as a moment, run it, and you can see that console.log that is my own props. Three arrays are coming that is your this value basically from the messenger JSON. That means it's coming now. What I will do, I will return and then yes. one heading and create one heading class name that is x center i will do it as a list so what is the error it's must on parent element that means i need it the d is three I will add now heading is coming. Now I have to iterate the object and showing over here what I will do ops dot message dot map link comma i but I'll write that is my message this is my component I will create other component message is not defined I will add this thing as a P or P test or speed up we I write link not literal. That means I have to create one function that is my message function. I will create that is other component, right? Here I will inject one component and here I add one component. That is your message. I'll create one component that is my message component. Props and then return and return then D class name. Is equal to M container container I will create P on the P tag and now I will use props dot text 
have to pass it from left on also the message add that is So this is my prop. This props I will pass. So after it is the object links dot text and send to buy is equal to link dot and by There are unexpected token, which are chase. I think uh, I will not add the key. In a twenty minutes, do we have to return the message function inside the map, or is it automatically returned? No, no, that is one uh, my component message component, right? Is the different means one function. In this message function, I will. Add here with the component. I have to pass this objects link, whatever I iterate the objects now that I have to pass over here. The so message do we have to do we have to return the message uh, or component from inside the map, or is it automatically implicitly returned even if we don't add the return function? Return yes, 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 return function automatically will there. Okay, no need, no need to add anything. I will add this thing now. What is unexpected? Oh. Um. Okay. I think some comments upper I have added that was unexpected. Okay, we will add it. It's link of things. Going to buy that is your link dot. Hmm. You can see. Now, gifts are coming right now. 
what i will do i will create some component and i will divide it this model what i will do that the app js all things num minus and remove all the things and also create on message.js file that is no okay m e is equals to and i will create other component i will create on component Set the component. I will create one. And then we are dot js. Once file I will create that is text changer. Tap on this call. Get that. Oh my God! That's on a hour. Tap on this call. Get that. Please mute. I'm And you don't have class this component that is component. Either I will write component over here or uh, react dot component. That time I will have react component. or I can do one thing comma. Then I will add one state. Coding. I will create one state with the class based component. Okay. So state is the, uh, required. So uh, getting the state manage uh, every every component <coughs> has its own state. So you can see. I have one component, multiple components in a uh, projects or application. So each component has its own state. And when I send the data from one component to other component, we require some props. So state is only the cycle that is only exists inside the component. It cannot be recognized by other components. Every component has its own state. And if we want to change uh, transfer or Refer the value for one component to other component. We refer the props. That is a simple data flow of the every structure. Okay. So component wise, I will create one state. And I will render function. First, I will create and uh, render. And create on the 
This is my inline CSS. That is our text. Correct. And the message component method spot that I will cut it. I will add here message. Yeah. Yeah. I will divide the module now. Yeah. And styles which you want in styles for spaces. And I will create export. Function message that is my props. Ask it and 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 then yes, the app I have to record. Okay. So what I will do is cut it. Pick up the app in the name. I will add this thing. Cool. And then I can choose. Message that I have input from here. Styles. Styles. Deep plus name and props dot message. Same thing I will add. Go to the index.js file. And do one thing import caution. This is my password. Okay. Search and data dot mass in join project. It's good. Okay. The render function is required on export. Thank you. 
I will toggle on a button and inside that I will show that text and whatever I created in the message JSON file. Now, what I will do is dot state dot OD is equal to true. So, And then at this function, I this is my method. That is my phone. Please start it not so deep. If I want to update the state in the React, I will use React as set state method. Please start set state. So set state as an object and so deep. Let's see. Let's set double there. Now, instead of hello, I will pass my component. This component is your render. This is 
It's coming. Now I have to modify some CSS or loops professional. So I'm going to the style.css. I will care. I will create this style that is if I render take some tab that is. Container I have created that is position relative the person origin. Auto having By default, I cannot see, and then message list is coming. And one more thing uh, that uh, message that is have to change something in the message or this file. That's why that's name equal to details on the not and small. I this watch was missing from dot send the file. This more to coming now. One thing that is required that is this is the normal uh, that message.json file I will create and display with the toggle. Now, the two-way binding, right, means if I will write in the input box, so it will automatically update it in that box or in the entire container. So that how implemented that small demo will have it. It's in the OC.js file. Here, just I will add one input type text box. Uh, Create fast to the graduates input there. 
Now I create one input type text box. Input type. As importing. But to export it, before it. Um, then slash Can see this component is coming now in the placeholder. I uh, will add some value that takes right. State I have added that is name and name. I want to print React current version, React dot version. And so now I will pass the method as a props. So I will create one method. This prop name in the area. This is my method. method. What I'll do is first I will pass the event on change event. So I'll grab the on change event here as the argument, then this dot it's a Name value. This is your name value. With value, I'll collect and then then event dot target dot value that I will add. Name change handler I will add it. Now. What I will do, I will do the state change to cross and change to the T. One thing, the props. Mm 
pass normal text right means right. as a prop the string right. and never now, never passing the reference of the function so no now i have passed the function right so yeah. it's a two way binding this is called in the react yeah. whatever is the value you'll update the same value you will reflect here right in the prop so you are setting the value equal to that props also yes. inside that yes uh, you can tell right. main chain handler at event even means mm -hmm. on chain event and on chain event is coming from where input type text on chain right if i will instead of change it's my props name you can add change one okay this change one if you copy and pass here but this name you cannot change this is the method name and this is the props name we cannot do on change one this is on chain hmm. right but the props will be updated now if i will inspect this You can see only this div is up means blinking now. Yeah, right. You can see. Not enter method, na? Only that place where is the node is updated. This place is only updated, right? Yeah, yeah. So this is two. Two way binding. This is called. When earlier I will pass normal takes number. Now, as a event method, I will pass as a prop in the other function, and then I take the argument and run it. Okay. Is there any question? So I will wrap this. Hello. Uh, so uh, today's take uh, the material and that code I will upload in the drive. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Koshik. Thanks. Yes. Yes. If you have any question, you can ask me. Otherwise, I will. So in that demo, so 
i hope that you uh, means so the past also whatever the structure the material huh, that is followed means our motto is that we have to create some hands on and then you can understand what is the going on okay so structure material you can read and you can ask me if you have any questions okay one by one i'll next day i will complete the i'll start with the hoops hoops comment and that uh, some kind of hoops okay that i'll start Okay. okay. Bye. Thank you all. Thank you. 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 Thank you.